Hey Aquarius, Happy New Year. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. What's going on with you this first week of 2024? Hope you guys enjoyed the holiday season. Yes, I still have my decorations up. <laughs> they will be changed next week. And next week we will also reconvene with uh, singles reads, okay? I just wanted to start off the new year with general. So here we go. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What's going on? The world card. Okay. Mm. Some of you could be a part of a marathon, a race, signing up for something that you've never done before. Aquarius, the sun. Wow. Mm. Okay. Feeling good. Ten of pentacles. Whoa. Feeling good. Some of you dealing with the Leo. What is this? Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck with the King of Pentacles. Okay, something getting ready to take off for you. Could be financially. Two of Swords making a decision here. This feels good. So far, the first message is it feels good. It feels happy with the energy of the sun. Something could also be coming to light when it comes to your stability, your money. Your family with the Ten of Pentacles. Let's get into it. What other messages for Aquarius? The World card. Why is that here? Nine of Swords is here. Mm. The Three of Cups. <clears throat> the Six of Pentacles. Is someone wanting to reach out? It's almost like someone can't sleep. They're worried. Nine of Swords to the Three of Cups. Wanting to reach out to you. Six of Pentacles. But it's like you're free with the energy of the world. You may have completed something. Maybe things used to be fun with someone, but it's not anymore. You may be happy. Mmm. What's that? Show me. Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. Three of Wands. Okay, threes. Two of Cups. It's like someone is reminiscing about the good times. Like thinking about how the two of you used to be really close or something like that. Three of Wands with the Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Six of Pentacles, like wanting to reach out. Do you see these hands reaching out, like wanting that closeness? Yeah. Seven of Swords. Secretly calling. Remember a few weeks ago you got some, like, someone was calling you, like, uh, with a blocked number or something like that? <laughs> That's kind of the energy that I just got. Seven of Swords, like someone is calling, making a private call, calling you on private. I just feel like someone is reminiscing, thinking, thinking about you. The sun, show me. Hermit, could be a Virgo for some of you. I already mentioned Leo. The Six of Swords. You could have walked away from a Virgo for some of you. Ten of Cups. We already had the Ten of Pentacles. Now the Ten of Cups. You're happy. I feel like you're happy. Some of you, you could have moved on to a new relationship. You could have started a, a new family with someone. I feel like your energy is very happy or you feel fulfilled in your life, wherever you are in your life. I'm not saying everything is perfect, but you feel happy. You feel content. And there's someone over here pulling a little on your energy. Okay. Show me this Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius. Will of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Some of you, you are going to have a lot of success. This could be a brand new money opportunity for you. Money coming in, happiness. This could be a, a family welcoming a child, children. 
This feels so happy, but I feel like someone is worried over here. Give me one more card for that Ten of Pentacles. Magician, you're in this energy of manifesting. You're manifesting. Yes, creating what you want. Ace of Wands. Wow. Some of you, I was about to say you're a project manager. So some of you could be given the, what do you call that? Entrusted with some type of project. Or you could be put in a position of leadership. I'm getting that strongly with the magician and the ace of wands here. Okay. Some of you, you could be writing. I'm getting, I'm getting drawn to this pen here. And the ace of wands in this deck is a pen or a pencil. It's a writing utensil. Because to me, it looks like a pen, but then it, it could be a pencil as well. But the magician is holding up something to write with. And so is the Ace of Wands. So some of you could be writing right now. Yes, like I, have a, I have this idea. And in front of the magician is a book. So you could be writing a book. You could be writing poetry, music, your thoughts. Some of you, production. Like you, you could be writers like what do you call that writing scripts some of you could be script writers but yeah it's like all of these good things ace of pentacles ace of wands is showing me right here there's a lot of good energy around you who is this person over here nine of swords who is this person Seven of Pentacles could be someone from your past. Seven of Pentacles. Who is this person? Three of Pentacles. Maybe you all got along. Another three. We already had the Three of Cups. We had the Three of Wands. Now the Three of Pentacles is here. This could be an old friend, old co-worker, an ex. Okay? Someone from your past with the Three of Pentacles, you could have worked with this person. You got along with this person at one point. Three of Pentacles. Oh, the fourth three. Okay, we're done. We're done. Now the Three of Swords. Spirit is sending a clear message. Someone is like weeping over you. What is happening? This person is Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, like... Someone is sad. Like, what is going on with this person? What is going on with this person? Two of swords. They don't even know. The devil energy. Oh, could be a Capricorn for some of you. This person is really going through it, you guys. I'm I'm not even just sensing a lover. I'm sensing this could be a friend. This could be a family member. Okay? This could be anyone at this point. There's someone around you who keeps thinking about the past, reminiscing about how the two of you used to be close. And it's like they don't even know what to do. They don't even know why they're feeling these feelings. And it could be a bit of obsession at this point. Or this person is just very indecisive with the two of swords touching the devil energy. They could be feeling indecisive. They could be going through some mental issues as well. This person could be dealing with something a bit mental. Their mental health may be fading away. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, how does Aquarius feel about this person? Page of Pentacles. So you're not giving much to the situation. You may not be giving much thought. Page of Pentacles is little communication. So you may communicate with this person every now and then. It's small. Look, yeah, Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's small communication. Ace of Swords touching the page. So it's not very big King of Pentacles. Wow. 
I feel like you're minding your own business. Look at this man. He's sitting on the couch holding a, a pentacle trophy, sipping some wine, looking out of like a, a nice hotel room window. It's like, I don't have time. Like, I don't have time to worry about that. Maybe a lot of you are busy. Mm. Yeah, and someone is feeling confused by you. Seven of Cups. Someone is feeling very confused. What would this person want to say to Aquarius at this time? Nine of Pentacles. Whoa. So they see you doing your thing. They see you doing your thing. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. What do they want to say to Aquarius? They have fear. They have fear. Maybe fear of like you, you're leaving them behind or you're not paying attention to them or this person has a lot of fear. Nine of wands. They're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed trying to figure this out. I don't know who you left behind or who you're not talking to, but somebody, somebody is afraid here it's almost like they're misreading or misjudging the situation remember the moon is illusion the moon is here but the girl is looking at the moon in the water and because the reflection of the moon is there it's distorting it with the water it's distorting how the moon really looks or what the moon's shape is so someone could be you know, seeing you as, you know, oh, you're stuck up now. Look at you. You're the nine of pentacles. You know, you don't care about me anymore. You know, and this is literally stressing this person out. Nine of wands. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what will come of this situation? Conflict. Five of wands. There could be jealousy. I'm I'm sensing strong jealousy with this card. Normally I'm like conflict, drama, and they could be being very dramatic at this time. Okay? Thinking of different scenarios in their head, making up shit in their head. That's why I said this person's mental health is like not they're not all the way together. They're not. Five of Wands, what could come of this situation? Page of Swords, they may still be spying. They may still try to reach out to you every now and then. I feel like spying with that Page of Swords. Page of Swords, King of Cups is here. With what? Queen of Cups. Whoa. Someone could be in love, okay? If this is a an, an ex or an old lover or old flame for some of you someone could still have feelings for you king and queen of cups yeah it's like when they spy on you they, they feel love toward you mm -hmm. anything else for aquarius this week anything else not of pentacles it's like spirit is saying take things slow you know you may not need to reach out to this person knight of pentacles Take the slow route when it comes to this person. Lovers is here. Gemini. This could be a Gemini for some of you. We have lovers and then we have the seven of wands. Whoa. It's almost like spirit is saying, don't accept, like be careful accepting this person's offer. Be careful. Seven of wands, like protect yourself. I don't... You know, I don't want to go there, but someone may have a fatal attraction toward you. This is for some of you. And I'm getting strong female energy on this part right here. Ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It feels like fatal attraction. If you are a female Aquarius you identify as female i feel like there could be someone coming after you oh gosh mm. that's very difficult energy you may have to put up strong boundaries with this person with that seven of wands coming out i feel like if 
if this person came around you, like you may have to distance yourself, protect yourselves accordingly. Of course, this is a general reading. I don't know everyone's personal situation, but if you know your person, if their mental health has dipped off into the dark side, you may need to get a restraining order or you may need to, you know, completely disconnect from this person, block their number, you know, delete, you know, change your number, something like that. It's like, you may have to go to the extreme, okay? Because it's like in this person's mind, the two of you are a couple or the two of you are in love. Even though they know you may not want them, you may have already turned this person down or you may have told them no. Like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be with you, you know, or I don't want to be friends with you. And this person is still looking at you as a lover, okay? Or they still feel like the two of you have some type of connection. Remember, I was saying whether that's romantic or platonic, someone feels like, no, I can still reach you. Look at the two of them touching each other's hearts, touching each other's chest. Mm, four of pentacles. Someone is holding on tight. They're holding on tight. It could be an air sign for some of you. Or this could be you. King of Swords, Knight of Cups. Yeah. Someone coming to offer a cup. But I feel you holding back. King of Swords to the Four of Pentacles. You could be holding back from this person. You don't want the cup. No means no. No means no. Oh, jeez. Mm -mm. Okay. What is going on? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, the Aquarius and this person, what is going on? You are protected. You see, Spirit wants you to know, look, you have guardian angels around you. Also, you need to guard yourself, okay? I do want to make that very clear. Some of you need to protect your peace, even if it's not to the extreme of someone, you know, having a fatal attraction. If someone keeps reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, and they're putting this negative energy on you, you don't need that in your life, okay? What does Aquarius need to know? Someone is spying. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Aquarius. Okay, y'all. Someone has their eye on you, and it says... You are doing your research. I feel like it's saying they are doing their research on you, but you are protected. This person could be spying, trying to figure out information about you, but you have a guardian. Ooh, I'm getting chills. Aquarius, commitment is here. And we have intimacy. This is what this person wants with you. Ooh, oh my gosh. It says sexual chemistry and reminiscing. That's what I was getting at the very beginning, you guys. Go back and watch. I was like, someone keeps reminiscing, keeps thinking about you. Like, if you were intimate with this person, they could not get over it. It did something to them. Maybe you just feel like it was a one night stand or you just connected with this person sexually a few times. This person did not get over it. I'm telling you, it feels like a fatal attraction. Honeymoon is here. Give me one more. And we have divorce. Yeah. <clears throat> air sign is at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, this is a fellow air sign or with someone with air in their chart. Whoa. Water sign here. Open your heart. Now, some of you, let me say it like this. Some of you, this could be a water sign. <clears throat> that you're leaving and you could be opening your heart to a fellow air sign, okay? Some of you, you could have had something with this person in the past. There maybe was commitment, intimacy, honeymoon. You could have married this person for some of you. And some of you went through divorce or some of you just broke up with this person. At the bottom, it says experiencing a breakup. This person, it's like they can't let go. They can't let go of you. Give me one card for Aquarius. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. One card for Aquarius. 
it says, where there's a will, there's a way. I feel like if you're trying to get out of something, if you are trying to block someone, get away from someone, if you will it to be, then there is a way out, okay? Never feel like you're trapped, okay? Your sign is all about freedom. So never feel like you're trapped into something or stuck with someone or like you can't get rid of this person. Some of you, like I said, I'm going to say it again, you know, you need to get a restraining order <clears throat> on someone that keeps trying to come see you, reach out to you. <clears throat> Some of you need to move. You need to change your number, okay? Where there's a will, there's a way. Follow the yellow brick road. Alrighty, Aquarius, that is your energy for the first week of 2024. Wow, what a reading. You guys, the energy felt very intense all the way through. I started getting chills, okay? So the, it feels like something very serious. So I want you to take it seriously, okay? Go back and watch this reading again. <clears throat> Not everything will resonate, but take the parts that do, okay? Alrighty, Aquarius, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I will see you guys next week with your singles reads. Take care. Bye.